Thank you. Uh, I'm Willy. So I would like to start uh, saying thank you to everyone that is on the organizing team. I, ha I have organized a uh, state of the map Latin America, so I know how hard it is to make this event happen. So thank you very much. And I would like also to say thank you for everyone that is contributing to OpenStreetMap. Uh, this project has provided me a lot of good moments mapping, a lot of friends all over the world. Uh, so thank you, everyone. Uh, so let's start. Uh, I am a software developer. Uh, I am mapping in OpenStreetMap since 2010. And in more or less September of 2015, I created the OSM chart. And since the beginning of 2017, I have been working on SMHR with the support of Mapbox. Uh, Mapbox started using the OSMHR some months ago, some months after I created it, uh, mainly because uh, Sanjay Banga, that, is a, that was a, a, a person that worked for Mapbox uh, in India. So how did it begin? Uh, I was uh, always like worried about the data quality in opposite map. Uh, I, I was always like monitoring the edits in the place where I was editing. So I used a lot of tool made by Pascal Nice uh, or Semistats. Uh, our semi-stats give us a lot of uh, charts and statistics about uh, opposite map. So in this chart, for example, you have the number of nodes created, modified, and deleted in every day. Uh, in that case, it's Brazil, but uh, our semi-stats have stats about uh, all the countries. So. Uh, how you can see, there are some peaks of edits. And I always saw that peaks, and uh, it, it led some questions like, what happened to have that peak? Uh, was it uh, an import? Uh, who has imported data? Which data was imported? We had a lot of problems with illegal imports in Brazil. So uh, we didn't have a tool to easily find uh, which edits cause that import, for example, or uh, which edits cause uh, uh, a big data remotion. The main tool that you had in that time was who did it. With who did it, you can filter the, the chain sets in some area. Uh, the time, uh, I think you cannot filter more than one month or more than some months. Uh, but it's a nice tool, but if you have a lot of edits, a, a big number of edits, it will be very difficult to find the chain set that you need. Uh, and also, it does not classify the, the edits that you have. So you need to check uh, chain set by chain set to, to find something wrong. So my main purpose uh, when I created OSMCHAR was to allow us to filter chain sets and to detect harmful edits faster. Uh, I noticed that some, some bad elements was in the map for a long time. So I would like to reduce the time that uh, the errors remain in the opposite map. That was the first version of same chart, we had like a table view with a list of chain sets uh, and some information about the chain sets, like the number of objects created, modified, deleted, uh, the reason why that chain set is, is, is considered suspect. We had uh, some filters, uh, so you, you, you could search chain set by some parameters or by a box, for example, to find chain sets in an area. That was the, the look of the chain set page. We had like a, a visualization of the chain set uh, provided by Achavi. And 
the other information about the chain sets. So in the beginning of 2017, uh, Mabox contacted me to, to do a redesign process with the Mabox team. Uh, that process was, uh, we have done some user interviews with heavy users of Asimcha and with the Mapbox data team that was using Asimcha a lot. We have identified some key operations and components on Asimcha, the, the most important actions that the user was doing, and produced some mockups and some screens to to test. Here you can see some, some drawings uh, that have been done to, to test some, some solutions, uh, a lot of screenshots of uh, like uh, uh, some possibilities to, to of the face to Asimcha. And that was the final result that is on production since September 2017. Uh, raise your hand if you have used OSMCHA before. Okay, a lot of people. So uh, I, will, I will do a, a little demo. So we have uh, a very complete guide here. You can uh, check it to learn more about OSMCHA. Uh, here we have the filters. Uh, it's not closing correctly. Here I have uh, my user page. I will load a filter that I have saved before. That are the digits on the on the city that I live. I will get. The digit to review. So here we have uh, the number of, of objects that were created, modified, deleted, uh, the reason why this change set is considered suspect. And here we have a visualization of the change set. So we have, for example, here one feature that was flagged that is this. Uh, it was flagged because like you have a, a highway here that intersects with an object that is a building. So we can load it on opposite map website here and we can edit it. So the problem was that that element was classified as a building so I will remove that tag. Uh, it should be a land use residential. Uh, fix the name. We had your other problem that you can see here in the visualization, uh, that no node was like dragged. So you can see here, uh, the, it's a transmission line. Uh, I can find here the, the tower, the imagery. So I fixed the chain set. We can save it. And save. So now I can go here and classify that change set as bad because that contains errors. And I can add the tags as well. We can put the tag resolve. And I can send a message to the to the user, uh, saying like uh, I, I found some error, or or should you fix something? Uh, so I think uh, we had a, a little 
a view of what your same child does. So it's a tool to, to you to us classify the chain set as bad or as good. So uh, another person will not lose time with reviewing that I did. We have uh, some process to, to put the data on SMCHA. We have a chain set ingestion. Uh, we get the chain sets from the replication files that are published on the, on the OpenSmart website. We do an analysis, uh, analysis of the chain set metadata, like looking on the, on the quantity of objects that were created, modified, deleted, on the comments of the chain set, on all the metadata that uh, is, is present on the chain set. We also analyze the user history, like uh, the number of edits of the user, or how long that the user has been editing in opposite map. And we finally registered that chain set on, on our database. We have also the feature ingestion. As you can see here, uh, we can flag some features inside the chain set. Uh, it's made basically by another project named OSM Compare. It's uh, a set of functions that we will analyze every Edit every feature that is created, modified, or deleted in OpenStreetMap. And if we, if we find something like, for example, in that case that I showed, that was a building intersected with a road, or a, a, a highway with a very sharp angle, uh, in other cases of features that you can classify as bad. Uh, so we flag that features and Storing to on the database by a, by a, an API request. Uh, we have done a lot of improvements in, on the last months. We can filter now by uh, administrative area. We use nominating to you can like search for a country, a state, uh, a city. So it makes make, it makes very useful if you if you want to filter administrative areas. You can also draw a polygon with your area of interest. We can save the filters, like uh, if you have uh, some filters uh, that you are always using. On the top of the filter page, there are some buttons that you can use to save. And we have also the drop-down menu where you can load your filters. We also have uh, ISS feed to, to the filters that you saved. So you can subscribe it on a feed reader and use it to monitor your edits, monitor the edits of the filter. Uh, we can read and post change set comments from inside your same chart. It makes it very easier to, to us to communicate with the mappers. You, you don't need to go to, to the website to post a comment or to read the comments. We have also an API available. Uh, you can check the documentation on smsha.mapbox.com slash API docs. Uh, for example, there is a JAWS plugin that use the SMCHA data to load the chain sets in, in JOSM, that use that, that API. You can build another tools using the SMCHA data. The API is open for everyone. We have done some backend improvements uh, since the beginning of 2017. We did uh, a code refactory. Uh, on the last month, we upgraded to Django 2.0. The backend is made with Django. We have made some enhancements on the database models and on the filters to make it faster, to give more, more possibilities of filters. And we have now, uh, for testing, uh, a version with the changes required by the GDPR. Uh, I can pass the, the, the URL on the end of that version. 
Uh, I think in one month we can publish from production the uh, a new release of OSMCHAR uh, with the DGPR changes. Some plans that we, we have for the future. Our vision is that OSMCHAR can be a central place for OSM community to share and review detections. Uh, the OpenSMAP website does not have uh, like a tool, uh, like a function to, to, to the mappers like uh, evaluate a chain set, so we, we provide that. And we, we can, you want more, 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 more people validating the map, so the awesome chat can be that place. The comments tool that you have in your Marcem Chá uh, give us the, the possibility to share the, our reviews to the website through a comment. But as the, the website does not have that, that, that function to review the chain sets, Marcem Chá is that too. Some next features. We want to allow parts of the communities to post detections to Marcem Chá. Uh, what that means? For example, if you are interested in all the changes of buildings in your city, so you, we want you, you, you can have that, the possibility to store all the changes of buildings in your city inside your SEMCHA, so you can review all that change. We want to give, like, uh, if you are interested in some, some part of data or some type of data, uh, in, in some aspect of opposite map, you can review all the changes ma made, uh, all the changes that you are, are made in that type of data inside of SEMCHA. We want to make the creation of same compare functions easier uh, to a better documentation, uh, or same compare allow us to, to review all the features that are modified, created, deleted in opposite map. We also want to add a rating mechanism for better classification of chain sets. Uh, for example, currently we have like the, the edits and we have here the, the suspicions reasons, the, uh, the reasons why that chain set is, is considered suspect or it can, it can contain errors. But we don't have a way to, to, to give priorities to some chain sets. We want to make it easily to the users to know what, which chain sets should they review first. Uh, so giving a score to each reason or to the, to the user, to the number of elements that were touched on the chain set we can build a score that can classify the chain sets and give a priority and like save time from the validators to put more efforts on the chain set that could be possibly worse to the map. So it will save time, save effort on validation and uh, make like uh, the chain set that need more attention be, be, be viewed first. So if you are interested in, in making your SEMCHA better, please join us. Uh, we have our main repository is the SEMCHA frontend. You can open issues, you can contribute to code. Uh, we have a mailing list as well. Uh, that mailing list, we announce the new releases. Uh, you can give ideas. Uh, I will be in the event until the end, so you can talk with me if you have new ideas as well. Uh, we have Kushan here, that is, was one of the front-end developers, and all the Mapbox team as well. So thank you, thank you Mapbox for supporting that work on SMCHA in that talk, and thank you very much. Time for some questions.
First of all, thank you for a great tool. I use it all the time. Um, I would like to make a request, and I don't know if you touched on it or not, what things you're coming to do, but you can say it's a good edit or a bad edit. I don't like using bad if somebody forgets the square building or doesn't know the square building. That to me is not a bad edit. It, it's, um, it, it's not a good edit. <laughs> um, needs improvement. Um, there, there should be different classifications, because I won't tell a new user it was a bad edit. Um, I think that's sending the wrong message. So I never use that unless they, they vandalize the map, uh, which actually doesn't happen very often. That, that's the first thing. If you could do that, I'd be happy to work with you. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it. Um, the second thing is, um, and this is, this is kind of stepping further down than what maybe you're thinking of, is um, right now we class, we're looking at errors that people make. And we, we're not taking and tying it back to what's wrong with the system that may be causing that error. It would be, it would be interesting to start capturing some types of classification errors that people make so that maybe we can improve our editors to eliminate some of those types of errors. Um, but that would take some work, and I'd be happy to help with you. But I think that we could start doing some quality tests with it. So we start improving our editors. I think that would really mm -hmm. help a lot. Uh -huh. If you want to take that on, please do. <laughs> uh, yes, nice suggestions. Uh, yes, uh, I think the term that you, you used before bad was worse than the bad. Uh, I, sh I think what it was harmful, but yes, it's very good, very good suggestion to, to change bad for this improvement. Uh, yes, I was thinking some tools like to, to allow us, for example, to revert a chain set from inside your SMHR or just fix a feature that is bad but, uh, but the, the, the rest of the chain set is not bad so you could fix it faster. Uh, yes, very good suggestions. Hello. Um, it's, it's quite evident from, from the program at this conference that there are lots of people working on all kinds of uh, uh, machine learning stuff and, and detection of stuff. I could imagine that because with Ozencha, uh, users can actually flag, cha as, as the, the, the other question has just said, um, users can flag change that says, okay, this, this is vandalism, this is bad or something. I could imagine that some of the people working on all sorts of automated stuff would be very interested to actually harvest that information as a learning data set so that they could then say, okay, here's this change that it was classified as bad or something. Is that an information that's readily av available to download from the API that you have? Like which change sets have been flagged as what? Uh -huh. Yes, through, through the API you can get all the information that you have in your SimChar. So Mapbox have have done some experiments with machine learning to, to help detect uh, bad chain sets. So you can get all the information you need through the API, and there, are, there is uh, an endpoint with all the checked uh, chain sets, so it's possible. Thank you.